Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about inequalities and we're going to look at a few, um, few ways to solve these things. Very, very similar to what we've done before. So, let's get started. I'm going to use the same equation I used last time just to show you how similar it is. And you guys can already solve this. You know, subtracting by 5, then dividing by 2 is how you do and you get x equals 6. Well, look over here on the right. Everything is almost exactly the same except I've got something a little different. Instead of equals, I have another symbol. It, that is actually less than or equal to. So and we'll talk about what all that means in a moment, but let's just, I wanna show you how to solve it. Um, I'm gonna do the same first step, subtract by five on both sides, and then I'm gonna do the exact same second step, and we get x is less than or equal to six. Now, uh, the way we graph that, that is x is less than or equal to six, uh, so, a number that would, is less than 6, for example, is 5, so I could put a point on 5. Or I could also put a point on 4, because that's less than 6. And 3 and 2, all these are less than 6. Um, I say less than or equal to, so 6 is equal to 6, so that is less than or equal to 6. Um, negative 4 is also less than 6. Uh, the number 1 and the number 1.5 are both less than or equal to 6. So in the future, instead of making all these dots for every single point that works for this equation, we're going to draw a line across it, and it's going to include all of those points. So that's why mathematicians draw a line, is because they're lazy and don't want to draw all the dots. So every part of the, uh, to the left and on top of 6, everything to the left of 6, is included when we say less than or equal to 6 on a number line. So first thing I want to tackle is how do you remember is it less than or is it greater than? Well, first of all, I want you guys to look closely. I blew this up so you can see it. Um, this expression, x and the arrow, <clears throat> 5. Notice that on that arrow there, the right side of the arrow is big and the left side of the arrow is small. That, to me, is the best way to remember this. I know some of you guys probably know using alligators or Pac-Man or something else like that, but um, this is actually why they drew it like this. You start with an equal sign and you crunch one side to make it small and you pick up the other side to make it big. That means that x is the small number and 5 is the big number. Um, another way to say this is x is smaller, th smaller than 5. Now we use, in math, we use the term less than instead of smaller and that has to do with when we get to negative numbers. But um, x is less than 5. If it helps you to write down small and big in the future, please, please do that because that will help you get these correct. Um, the way you graph that is you draw a circle at 5, and first of all, notice that it's an open circle. We'll talk about that in a moment too. And since x is smaller than 5, it's any number that is less than 5, anything to the left of 5. 4 is smaller than 5, 3, 2, 1, all those are smaller than 5. So we're just going to fill in everything to the left of 5. All right, for the next one, let's look at, uh, just changed it around. Now the left side is big and the right side is small. That means that x is the big number, 5 is the small number, so x is bigger than 5. And again, in math we use the phrase greater than, so you could say x is greater than 5. Um, then uh, the way you graph this is you're going to draw a circle on 5 again, another open circle and you're gonna draw everything bigger than five. X is bigger than five. So that line right there represents all the numbers that work for that inequality. All right, look down here on the bottom left with me. Um, notice the left side is big and the right side is small. So the way you would say this is five is greater than X. Five is bigger than X or five is greater than X. That actually means the same thing as saying X is smaller than five. If X is smaller than five, that means five is bigger than X. So these two mean the same thing, and you're actually going to graph it the same way. On the right here, notice I've got 5 is now the small number and x is the big number. Once again, because 5 is less than x, that's the same as saying x is greater than 5, because x is the big number. So these two are the same thing. So notice, you can, if you flip everything, you also have to flip the arrow in the middle, the, the inequality symbol. But you're, there's more than one way to write this. When they're equal, you can switch them and not have to worry about it. But here, that x is less than 5 and 5 is greater than x mean the same thing. So either of those are a correct answer to a problem if, if one of them is and the other is. 
All right, let's look down here. There's one big difference we need to talk about, though. That is when you multiply or divide by a negative. First, look at three is less than, oh, oh sorry, before that, we're gonna do, uh, let me rewind. Let's talk about what is the difference between x is greater than three or x is greater than or equal to three, okay? x is greater than three, that's anything bigger than three. That actually doesn't include three itself because three is not bigger than three. Three is not greater than three. This, though, means x is greater than or equal to three. And in this case, we include the number three. So you notice the difference here. If you're including it, you need to put a solid point on it. Kind of like up above, we were just making solid points. If we include three, you're gonna fill that hole in. It's gonna be solid. If you're not including the number, then you're gonna leave an open circle. So the easiest way for me to remember this is just remember this symbol right here. That bottom half is kind of like the bottom half of an equal sign, and that means or it could be equal to, so we want to include it, so let's make a point there. So fill it in with a point. All right, last thing, the big difference that we got to worry about, okay? That very first problem I showed, you could do that every time, and that would work, except for this one little situation. Take uh, three is less than seven, right? We all agree three is less than seven. I'm gonna multiply both sides by negative one, and you get this inequality, negative three is less than negative seven. Now, I have to draw this in real quick. You guys already have it drawn. I'm gonna plot those two points. I'm gonna plot three, no, negative three, sorry. We're plotting negative three, and we're gonna plot negative seven, and the bigger number is always on the right. So it's weird to say that negative three is greater, but it is. Negative three, this one, is the bigger number, okay? The further right you go, the bigger the number, uh, the greater the number gets, so negative three is the greater number. But that's not what our inequality says. Our inequality says negative three is less than negative seven. So what happened? Well, that is just not true. What we wrote down there, negative three is less than negative seven, that's not true. So the rule that you have to remember is that whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must change the direction of the inequality. So because this inequality was pointing left, it means less than, right? Uh, because it means less than, uh, we need to switch that when we multiply by a negative number. So negative three is greater than negative seven. The arrow was pointing to the left, now it's pointing to the right. Okay, and, that, and by arrow I mean the inequality symbol. So that's the one thing you've got to remember when solving this. Just remember, whenever you multiply or divide, ask am I multiplying or dividing by a negative number? And that's gonna be included in one of our examples. All right, uh, so that one's the correct one. Let's do uh, an example, uh, a few examples, and I'll let you uh, finish this video. So let's solve this, and then I want you to graph it. The first one, you're gonna adding one to both sides, so r is greater than five. And uh, notice the greater than symbol, is n there's no e or equal to, so we're gonna leave it as an open circle. For the next one, we're gonna add six to both sides. So right here, three x is less than or equal to six. And uh, you divide by three, we check it's a positive number, so we don't need to flip the sign, so we're good. And x is less than or equal to two. I'm gonna fill in at two because it's or equal to, and then we're gonna draw everything to the left of two because it's everything smaller than two. X is less than two. For the next one, uh, I've got right here, add five to both sides. When I do that, you get negative two X is less than six. When I divide, I'm dividing by a negative number. So I need to do something. I need to switch or flip the inequality. So you notice the next time I write it, I'm gonna write x, and it's not less than, not arrow to the left, I'm gonna do greater than, okay, three. So <clears throat> if this is x is greater than three, that means all the numbers that are bigger than three. So I'm gonna draw an open circle and draw everything to the right, all the numbers that are bigger than three. Uh, notice that this right here, this open circle, is open because there's no or equal to at the bottom. All right. Try this last one on your own and bring it into class to share with your classmates. Thank you for watching.